The investigation is widening in the General David Petraeus scandal, and now it includes another general. General John Allen, entrusted with nothing less than winding down the nation's war in Afghanistan. You should know at any given moment there are fewer than 50 four-star generals around the globe for the United States, and they are the elite of the elite. Tonight, two of the most formidable, one active duty, one retired, are in the heat of the spotlight, and Martha Raddatz tells us what happened today. Martha. Diane, the consequences of Dave Petraeus's infidelity are astonishing. The nation is left without him as its CIA director, and the commander of our forces in Afghanistan is now caught up in this bizarre web as well. It is breathtaking. Within days, two four-star generals so widely respected in the midst of scandal. First, David Petraeus and now General John Allen being investigated for sending what the Pentagon said were potentially inappropriate messages, putting on hold his likely promotion to become the supreme allied commander in Europe. Of course it weighs on him, as much as it weighs on Dave Petraeus. Uh, I believe that, that Dave is very, very sad for, for what he has admitted he did. At the center of this web, Jill Kelly, the Tampa socialite and honorary military ambassador, living near the CENTCOM headquarters where Petraeus and Allen were once based. Officials say it was early this summer that Kelly received anonymous emails accusing her of flaunting her friendly relationships with top military brass. The FBI traced those emails back to Paula Broadwell's computer, where they discovered the evidence of Broadwell's affair with David Petraeus. But it doesn't stop there. ABC News has learned that General Allen also received an anonymous email traced to Paula Broadwell, painting Jill Kelly as a seductress. A further look by the FBI into Kelly's emails revealed hundreds between Kelly and General Allen, 20 to 30,000 pages of communications in all. But a source familiar with the emails say they contain no evidence of a sexual relationship, something Allen strongly denies. Instead, they're described as friendly, perhaps flirtatious, but routine, mostly about meetings with ambassadors and dinner parties. In one note, Kelly tells the general she saw him on TV. He responds, thanks, dear, you're a sweetheart. Many emails were from Kelly to General Allen's wife. The two couples were good friends. So somebody proves Otherwise, uh, I believe that he did nothing inappropriate. And today, the White House made clear the president still has faith in General Allen. But the Petraeus case is an entirely different matter. Late last night, federal agents descended on the home of his mistress, Paula Broadwell, gathering more material, including a desktop computer, making sure she doesn't hold any classified information. And Dave Petraeus, once such a public hero, now forced into the shadows. While there is plenty of anger over Petraeus's behavior with Paula Broadwell, the overwhelming reaction I have heard from troops is one of sadness mixed with pride for his years of leadership and hardship, Diane, in this nation's wars. Thank you so much, Martha, for all your reporting.